It is my pleasure to welcome to the show today international number one best-selling author Jeffrey Deaver. His novels have appeared on bestseller lists around the globe. His novel entitled The Bone Collector, it was made into a major motion picture starring Denzel Washington and Angelina Jolie. He is the keynote speaker at the Mystery Writers Key West Fest, so we had a chance to sit down and talk with him this morning. Jeffrey, it is such a pleasure to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for having me. Have you been in Key West before, or is this your first time? No, I have indeed. I like it very much. I live mostly in North Carolina, Washington, D.C., too. But um, one thing I find about Florida, uh, uh, statewide, people read books. You're really a state of readers. And uh, I'll do uh, you know events in Miami and uh, on the, uh, uh, the West Coast as well. But I've been to Key West a few times now, and there's really no more literary area in the state than Key West is. I agree with you, definitely. I have had so much fun researching you, Jeffrey, and just seeing your background and everything. And one of the things that I have to say I found most fascinating is that before you got into writing novels, you were a folk singer. Yes. In, in <laughs> fact, if I, if I didn't have so much respect for you and your viewers, I'd sing a tune for you now. But that was a part of my life a long time ago, and I'll tell you a very fast uh, story. I really was not very talented musically. But I love songs. I love the way to, to write a song, you have to tell a story in a very short period of time, and it has to rhyme, it has to have a nice rhythm to it. And so I devoted my time to, uh, to writing songs. Well, that was many, many years ago. And then a few years ago, I decided, well, I write novels, I sell millions of books around the world. Why don't I write some songs that go along with the books? And that became my book, XO, and I wrote a country western uh, album for it that went on to do pretty well. It's available on iTunes and so forth. And one of my songs was nominated up against uh, Kanye West. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Either of us won. So he didn't have a chance to come take the, uh, the award out of my hand. Okay. But, uh, but, uh, but it was kind of fun. So the music background ultimately came back to me. Okay, so again, you know, before the end of the interview, if you want to sing on the show, you're more than welcome uh, to. I respect you far too much for that. <laughs> How'd you make the transition into writing? When I was 11 years old, I wrote my first book. Well, it wasn't really a book. It was, uh, it was more of a, a long, short story. And I thought, at that age, there's no way I can do this. I sat down. Two weeks later, out came a little book. And I said, well, you know what? I can do it. And there's nothing more exhilarating than telling a story. So my life, from that point on, was an attempt to be able to um, make a living as a full-time novelist. Now. It's not easy to do uh, because, you know, people like uh, Jackson Pollock, the, the artist, or Mozart, the composer, I believe were doing their creative talent at four years old or five years old. Writers need to live for a while. You know, they really need to experience life. So I was, I was patient. I was a, uh, a journalist, as, as you are. I was a, um, a lawyer. I was the folk singer for a while. All the, all the while, I'm gathering some experience, keep getting the memories up, just kind of thinking, when will I be able to leave? <clears throat> I'm practicing law in New York City, and then I, I said, "Well, I don't think I can. I don't think I can keep doing this, practicing law, and writing full time because the demands were too much." And so I quit my job, and it was quite a uh, reduction in income, as you can imagine. But uh, sure enough, um, I started to publish uh, 30 years ago. I've been writing full time ever since. Wow, that was a great move on your part then to get into it full time. What are you most proud of? You've written so many novels, you've received so many awards. What are you personally most proud of? I'll tell you what I'm most proud of is, can I be proud of two things? Yes. Is that all right? <laughs> okay. The first thing I'm proud of is that my character, Lincoln Rhyme, is um, disabled. He's uh, the, the character played by Denzel Washington in the movie, The Bone Collector. He's uh, quadriplegic, he's paralyzed from the neck down. And my books have been a, um, a source of inspiration to many people in the disabled community. And in fact, only uh, three weeks ago, I was invited by uh, President Obama and Vice President Biden to go to the White House as a celebration of the 25th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Very proud of that. That's one, and uh, you know, very, very happy to have that feather in my cap. The second uh, thing I'm most proud of is that on more than one occasion, young people have come up to me and said, uh, Mr. Deaver, I never read a book outside of school. And some of them say, even in school, I didn't read a book, but don't tell my teacher. <laughs> but I've never read a book um, outside of that assigned in class 
until my father or a friend gave me one of your books and I realized that reading could be fun and now they're addicted to reading. Wow. Those are two very good things to be proud of, Jeffrey. I wish I had you longer today, but unfortunately I don't. Tell our viewers what you're working on next. Well, right at the moment, your uh, viewers may know the uh, Bone Collector, which I mentioned, um, with the, uh, of course, uh, featuring Lincoln Rhyme, my protagonist. The uh, new book, which will be out in, um, I think in March of next year, is called The Steel Kiss. And at the same time, my book, The October List, was just bought by ITV Television in England to be made into a miniseries. Uh, so I'll be working with them on that. And uh, that's kind of an interesting book. It goes backwards in time. It opens with the last chapter and then goes backward in time. So the first chapter is at the end of the book. And it confuses me. So if, if your viewers are confused, all I can say is go to, can I shamelessly self-promote my, my, my website, jeffreydeaver.com. All will be explained there. And I answer all my emails if your uh, fans would like to write in and say hi. Uh, say they had a problem with Chapter 3 in a book 20 books ago. That's fine with me. I'd love to talk to them. I'm such a fan of your work. A lot of my family members are a fan of your work. So to be able to talk in person, it's really Very wonderful. Nice. Well, and you know, it's going to be a tough job. But I think I have to set a book in Key West now. I think you do. Absolutely. You've been here now. You're the featured speaker at the Mystery Writers Fest. Set a book here. Death of, death of the stone crab. <laughs> Sounds great. Again, thank you for being on the show. For more information, be sure to check them out on the web at jeffreydeaver.com.